Hello and welcome to Holdridge's Crusade. Today we're in the unkempt woods and we're going to be doing the quest Righteous Reforestation. Uh, this quest here starts right here at the beginning entrance. Uh, we zoom out just a little bit. Here's the, the door uh, right over here by Thornell Greyleaf. And just a little side note. Uh, make sure you do your overseers during this uh this uh, experience bonus time that's going on or any experience bonus time because they all get a plot the extra experience plot i got five percent from an overseer uh this morning when i, when I did that so we're already 25 percent in and i haven't done anything since the last video so uh pretty phenomenal my uh my mage is like almost 30 percent in so this is uh just just a tip <laughs> Just the tip. All right, so here we go. Hail and well, melt newcomer. Welcome to the unkept woods. I do hope you did not suffer any troubles to get to us, particularly considering the aggression at the river. I appreciate the welcome. Good, good. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Thornell Greyleaf of the Elder. My newfound friend here is Dagnor. Dagnor smiles and waves a well-worked hand. Hey, good to meet ya. Uh, I have no doubt you were directed here as you were by the great mother Tunar herself to tend this land, this great land. The Eldar, well, tell me about this great land. The Eldar were pulled here, our hearts were pulled here by the great goddess Tunar herself. We are to be the wardens of this land along with our dwarven neighbors, yet we, we are faced with our first test of patience and dedication to the cause. A test? Aye, the damned Ralosians have come to take the shore. They be stripping the wood of all the floor and leaving all but dirt. Mournfully shakes his head as he looks into the western horizon and not a seed planted to replace the bounty they have spoiled. I have a moment. I can plant a seed or two. If it was that easy, our, our guards would have done hundreds of times over by now. But alas, the front line is a war zone. Our people have fallen back to regroup, but the Ralosians are not so keen on taking a break for our benefit. However, if you were up to the challenge, then I will not turn away and offer to send by the gods to help restore this beautiful land. Please go south to the Elder Village. There you'll find the provisioner. Ask her for seeds. She can assist you there. All right, so if we take a look here at the map, this zone uh, is pretty big. I believe this is like Butcher Block Mountain slash, uh, I think this is Butcher Block Mountain. I really, I, I feel like this is what it is. Uh, cause like this is where the docks become. And then this is kind of like the greater Fay area, uh, over here. I think we're just in the past inside of, uh, Thornell's memory here. Uh, could be, you know, in, it's that general area, uh, of the Fedor. Uh, but, <laughs> but we have to go all the way down here and there's a lot of running back and forth between here and here, here and here, here and here, here and here. So there's a lot of running in this and you know how, what I like to do when I run, I like to use a mage so, uh, I can just get everybody there in a single click. All right. So we're going to run with the mage down South, uh, there we'll show the run once and then from there on, I'll cut it out. Uh, just in case uh, someone doesn't know how to find it. Uh, but it is pretty much a straight shot, and it's relatively safe. There's these elder archers uh, and guards along the way. Uh, so you, you probably don't even need invis, but there are uh, there are some creatures you might run into, I believe, in this area. I've, uh, I've done the mercenary quest for this zone already. Uh, I'll probably pick them up again while we're down here, but like I think the snakes are aggressive, and uh, I think there's some spiders. 
some other things. And then uh, as you get closer to the coastline here, you find the Relosian uh, guys, right? And they want to they wanna kill you. <laughs> All right, so we're in the camp. Uh, I'm going to put a campfire down here, but we need to speak to uh, this one, this one right here. So let's bring her in and let's go ahead and put a campfire down as soon as they land. There we go. All right, back to Old Urch here. All right, so let's hail uh, the provisioner here. Oh, friend, hello. You say you need some seeds for Thorn or Thorn L, I presume. I have some nice hardy specimens here that should put up a bit of a, a bit of a be beating. She reaches into a small rucksack and pulls out a thin packet of seeds. Here you go, free of charge so long as they are planted within the woods while you're at it you will need some quality water i recommend pulling from the southern shore but be mindful of the local aviax all right so we get a bag here and a jug so we need to fill these up now if we take a look at the map here um here, right here, we need to go all the way over here uh, into the water to get the uh, the jug full. And then this is where you'll find the Aviax. And then while we're right here, Bo Boer Asana is the one uh, who gives the uh, mercenary quest. I think we could say all three to her. Most of these let you do that, but I guess not. Uh, I'm not going to read the this because it's literally just go... Uh, go kill uh, like 10 things or something like that and kill eight spiders kill five aviax or get five feathers and kill 10 ralosians all right so we'll have that just go and get the background that's uh 1.7 1.8 percent experience per uh for doing those and then you get you know get the bonus if you that's your first time doing it but we're gonna do that all right, so I'm going to get everybody synced up and we're going to head over to the water. All righty, everybody should be synchronized now. We need to go gather some water. Uh, so this is a pretty simple run. It's just one of those like, runs. Once, it, once I've done it once, I won't show it again. So we're just going to run through here. Uh, I did grab all the mercenary quests on everybody. It's just free experience for... Uh, for a little bit of overlap that will happen, right? I believe there is uh, some overlap for uh, the Relosians. There's a group. Wow. Adrenal is popping this morning. Usually there's no one on in the morning when I'm playing. Uh, let's see here. But it's a pretty straight th shot through here. And uh, very low, uh, low chance of death. Now, this camp right here, this is the Elder, uh, Honored Elder. Uh, he is actually uh, a pretty fun little camp. He's not up at the moment, but I've, I d actually did this when I was doing my feather uh, for the mercenary the first time I did it. And uh, it went pretty well. I was surprised how easy the name was. This is a tier 2 zone too, so that was kind of... One of those things that just like wasn't sure all right sure everybody gets task stage updated here come on <laughs> get your task stage updated All right, I don't think the, the Necromancer wants to cooperate today. What is this? Oh, a shiny right here. All right, so we all have the water now. Now we need to take down uh, some Ralosians. Now, where we want to plant a tree is up here. And this is also exactly where the Ralosians spawn. So for the quest, we need to kill, uh, what is it, seven. And for the mercenary, we need ten. So it's like... You're almost there. So I believe, and I believe all the other mer the other partisan quests will have us kill them also. So something to keep in mind when you're uh, here. Uh, so we're gonna go up here. 
and uh, find the tree where you have to plant, and then we'll just kill everything there. Shouldn't, uh, shouldn't take too long. And then the spiders are here by the coast, and then you'll find bats around this area too. For the other mercenary, I believe some like right over here. Yeah, there's the bats. So pretty easy to find these mobs. They're all relatively easy compared to some other things, but you're not going to have a terrible time. All right. So the tree planting is right, right here, I think, on that little stub. All right. Looks like we're going to have to kill a snake. Pull it. Just kill whatever, <laughs> whatever we have to. And then uh, we can plant it. And then we don't have to worry about uh, doing that. So go over to like one of the other characters, right? And then click the seed. Oh, she's gathering vigor click the seed all right so that's all that's all you do is click the seed <laughs> right here click the seed oh no you click on that you don't have to actually click the seed all right that's even easier it's like a little uh Elevator or something makes the sound All Right now we need to kill the Rallosian and then take the seed packet and the water Back to Thornell. Thornell is over here. So that's what we're gonna do. I'll meet you at Thornell And by meet at Thornell, I mean we're going to kill Rallosians over here. I totally skipped a step there uh, So we're going to uh, I came down here um, where is it at? Right here by the boats. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull from this encampment. We got to be a little bit careful on this. Uh, I got to kill all this trash also. From what I remember, everything assisted. So if you pull a Rallosian over a bat, it's, uh, you know, you get the bat. But the bats are relatively weak. I believe the uh, snakes are too. Uh, maybe it's something else, but so here. There's two Relosians right there. Same as the Moors of Nock kind of ones, right? Uh, not much difference. They are tier two, so they could hit pretty hard. You can see my skills are going up since we, uh, we did level since the last time. Uh, fought these. You can just see here, I'm getting just absolutely trounced by this guy. This one's slowed here. But they, they hit pretty hard. I was at 50, 50k. Yeah, these are hitting for 50k. And, you know, we're at what? I, I was at like 9100 AC, 4000 uh, avoidance. I've been going for heroic agility. Uh, against my, <laughs> my my better judgment, I've been going for it. Uh, I, you know, I've, I did a little research and I found, you know, that's probably the best because paladins don't do a lot of damage. Now for a Shadow Knight, heroic, you know, they do more damage, right? And heroic dexterity might be the way to go. But a paladin, you know, I'm, I'm like literally just tapping them with a, a level one sword, it feels like sometimes. And it is, uh, I don't know, feels like in my best, best interest to go more defensive and I feel like agility was probably the answer it might be stamina uh to just get more hit points oh i'm gonna probably be camping the augment for st the stamina aug so i wasn't gonna spend the points on that yet i'm trying out agility but you know i don't know maybe somebody who's you know, played you know a max level paladin would uh, have better insight into that Alright, so we just need to uh, grind these guys out. So I'm gonna kill uh, kill a few more and then uh, we'll move on. 
All right, we're down to the last Ralosian for the quest. <laughs> totally just like zoned out playing. Uh, <laughs> I have so much fun with these guys and uh, talking every single, every, like everything, talking through everything gets, you know, I think it's repetitive at times. But I've got them going here. And if, if you noticed, I switched my, my shaman from uh, Ixar to Barbarian. I just could not stand the Ixar female model anymore. Uh, just drive me insane. There we go, and here we go. This will be the last one. The war guy gets to count. Go slow. Let's get this thing dotted up. Been really enjoying the bar DPS and stuff, but uh, it's been uh, an interesting experience. I'm uh, hoping once I get these guys 125, you know, get them max AA, I am gonna do some team swap around. I think I can get more DPS out of a second mage instead of the Necro. There we go. And we got some intelligence for that. All right. So now we need to go. Now we go see Thornell back here at the entrance. So uh, I'm going to run my mage because my campfire is at the camp in the south. Alrighty, we're here back at Thornell, and he wants the seed packet. Come on, take it. <laughs> and he wants the, uh, uh, what is that, intelligence? In the water. Let's give that over. And, uh, let's hail him. You not only managed to get a seed planted within the barren soil, but you found some intelligence from our enemy. You are truly a gift from Tunar herself. Please take this intel post haste to Dalvi Captain back at the village. He will know what to do with it from there. All right, so we can just campfire to the village. And now where is he? Where is the captain? Dalvi Captain, there we go, right there. And hand that over to him. <laughs> Inhale Thornail again to let him know the status. Oh my gosh, that is a kick in the... Uh, if you did not have a mage, you would be uh, a lot of running here. Alright, back here. And we can hail him. All right, we get 2.4% experience for finishing that 141 platinum. I am eternally grateful or thankful for your assistance in trying to restore our beautiful woods. The battle is not over, so if you do not, if you do not do have, so if you have some time to spare, please uh, speak with Dagnor here, and he will be able to fill in, you in the gaps for the next steps all right geez, i couldn't read that i just saw his name i just just saw that it was butcher block uh yeah so this is this is butcher block mountains in the past right all right so we're done with the righteous reforestation and that is uh done so next up we have to do the blades of my enemy uh which i believe is another uh go and kill a bunch of guys quest uh, but uh, thank you very much for watching and please, please have a fantastic day.